One of the highly requested questions in chat is how do I rank up from Platinum to GM? How do I rank up from Silver to GM? How do I win more games? My teammates are growing. Um, what do I play in this scenario? And other questions like that. What I want to do is I want to start a series by doing unranked to GM and I'm going to do it very slowly. I'm going to make a decision making. I'm going to explain everything I do on a certain hero in every game. So carry my brains out of 5 vs 6. Get picks before or play a random team comp. Like you either play a flanker, let's say a Hanzo, you flank, get a kill, then get out to make it a 5 vs 5. Or you play a very random team comp so the enemy doesn't know what to do. Like Torg, May, Bastion, One Healer, Moira, whatever. Yeah, I know most players play the game casually, I know. I'm just saying about how you could win. My voice? Yeah. That was a nice book. I can get killed. Line one. Play from inside with cover so Hanzo doesn't shoot me. I don't need to put any pressure. Depending on where Reaper is. Like if Reaper is right side and I'm safe. If he TPs here of course I'm going to move. But I don't want to peek at the window. I don't think it's close to Shattuck. Oh, my bad. Can we guess that? Can we guess that, Maxi? Thank you. If you play with a Maxi, always ask for guests, of course. And make sure you don't ask for like risky guesses in the spawn. Just only nano. I need to keep my immortality feel for the Graviton Hanzo. That's what I need to do. Problem is, if Reaper has all the same time, then we're going to die a lot. Can we use Junker attack this fight? Just to drag out more of the time, because if you get the kill now, then it takes them 10 seconds to respawn, roughly 10 seconds to come back, so we have extra time off the clock. Get killed by Hanzo, so I'm rotating. No way I can win that. If he did not take the Mega, we could have won that. Might be winnable. If Ash kills like one person, like in the next two seconds, it might be winnable. One, two. They have more sustain with double healer. But we, or we have ball coming up from spawn. We have Rip Tag. Maybe we can use it. We're really close. It's winnable, winnable. I have to throw this to see if I can land it. Throw a right clip before to see the range of the field. Hands up behind you, Junkrat. Hands up behind you. There's nano visor, there's Gav. Probably gonna have shot in the next fight. They're already close, they're already close. You can stay on this. Is that guy's in spawn? Oh, she's just staggering a lot. Let me see anything up. Did we kill the guy? Like he shot the Where the fuck did he go? Yeah, we did. Okay, yep. okay. When you have nothing to do, no need to heal, just spam the shield. Even if it's a couple of damage, every damage matters. When you hear deflect, as much as possible, stop shooting. See? Just a tiny bit of damage. That's all that matters. Now we fox stress. Ryan, keep your fire strike. You have it. Okay. Fire strike that. 
Good job. A good combo with Fire Strike is the coin I said. He's just using your immortality field and fire stack around choke points. You can stay on top of this. I don't use immortality field even if he's off the map, it's okay. You, by the way, uh, you can stay on top of this. You cannot, you cannot stay on top left of this. Maybe try to use Molten Quark first, buy some time. Guys, stop left. I have so many things to. Uh, on our main right side. To block. Putting away the divisor. No friendly pressure the shield, pressure the shield. Oh, it was my bad, didn't see the guys. If you gather, I can kill them. Max one, max one. Over there, I, I press tab to see Zaga's full charge. I have 96%. I try to try to get more out of it. Good job. It was really hard. So I placed myself in an opposite way of the graviton so that if Zaga grabs, Ryan Shield will turn around towards me and my Zaga can just shoot them in the back or Ryan Shield turns around to Zaga and I just hit him from the back. Clondick, I think by the one a bit. Can I guess maybe? Almost leveled. Going to try to kill. Oh no, that you don't have a healer. Poglo, that. Behind them in flank. Then they will want gay baits. Meow. Let's obtain the meows. Let's obtain the meows. Kaylee Kogal, they want you on for 11 months. Spog, you are my favorite streamer, and your streams have helped me improve a lot at the game, so thank you. Less than three, you will. Let's go. I want to throw it there. 
We have a lot of poke damage, I can just stay and try to poke the shield right now because we have a junk cut and TNT. Damage boosted by Ash. If you if the enemy team has Ash with TNT with damage boost on her, then uh, you're going to she's going to have Bob really fast if you don't have a diva. Because that TNT will just hit everybody. Main, main. Am I gonna fail? You park left side alone. You can do this. Yeah, shot tag. Doesn't have shot tag. And to get it again. Maybe somebody plays me? Or even Sombra? No, no, no. We need to run hard. No, no, no. We need to run hard. Just wait, don't do don't do this lot, this lot, get out. Fly Diva. Maze one. This is guessing. Just get group. We're gonna have Diva Bomb, Immortality Field, I mean Ult. I wanna push him with Diva Bomb, they're gonna have to go give him space to go. Yep. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna throw it in from the right side. I'm gonna follow you guys going here. Ready? Wait for it. Three seconds. Wait, wait, wait. Two. Turn it down. Let's have up. Maze main. Made that. Hoglo, hoglo, hoglo. Good flank by D.Va, dude. If you're playing with the Reinhardt, coordinate using your gold and fire strike. They were sitting in a bunker over here with Orisa, Bastion. That's an easy, easy fire strike with 200 damage. But I did this earlier. I'll show you. So over here, if you remember, when they started walking right side, I asked my guy to keep his fire strike. So that when they walk in, we will kill the Anor, the soldier, or even the Mercy. Like over here, and then he just throws the fire strike again. So all the time, try to, if possible, try to play with your, uh, try to do combos like this with Baptista's ultimate. If you're in a duo, you're playing Baptista and Reinhardt. It's very nice. It's very good to do. Like over here, when they start walking in, I'll show you. Over there. If you would have waited a bit, now look at the fire strike here. Hits the Zarya, hits the guy, and would have hit the soldier also. You would have killed the soldier. So it's like free, free. Combo. If you if you do with a Reinhardt. I used to be a console player. Now I'm transitioning to PC. Do you have any tips? I also sometimes find it hard to memorize the keyboard buttons. Love the stream. Torn, a lot of people are asking this question almost every day. Uh, if you transition, if you transition from console to PC, it will feel alien-like to play with keyboard and mouse. So I would suggest playing as much as possible is the way to go. If let's say you're driving, you know how to drive an automatic car and you drop to manual drive, then it's going to feel weird until you get used to the stick, right? And the other way around, if you're used to having like manual shift, then 
you it's going to be weird driving an automatic car but the more time you put in and you need to admit that at the beginning you're, you're going to suck you're not going to know what to do you're going to be confused and so on so just it's the amount of time you put in. And it depends on the individual how much time you do. Honestly, if you have problems with keyboard, there are games that allow you to type really, to like do typewriting tests. Maybe just typing stuff apart from gaming will help you learn faster. Just typing paper and stuff like that. Hello. Yeah, I would. We have a first. I want to go top left. Right. Yeah, yeah, I use control to catch. Make me proud, soldier. A little more to the left. There's one up top at least. 15 seconds in, you can see the enemy team comp, even if you don't see them. Stay here, stay here. Everybody else stay here. Dude, this is the biggest hammer on my head. Let them up! They can't see it. Hammer <laughs> behind them. Go on right, right. Rotate right side, go right side, go right side, just move. Go top right. We have time now. Come, 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 right side, right side, hello? Oh, you wanted to go Bastion. Oh my god, it's actually almost that mid! Stay here. It's not me. I can have EMP soon. I need to play the opposite side of them. So they win the EMP, I can jump and just throw my E. That's why I need to get my own heals. Good peel, by the way. I will explain this to you after why I decided to play there. Now I'll play from here, all the way separate. Underneath? Are they underneath? No, they're, they're not. Underneath. No, there's two of them. Oh, right, he's a. Just by time. Yeah, we marked that at your point. Winston's long, Winston's long. Divalo, Divalo. That was mean, Reinhardt. I'll share this fight also after. Can you stop right? He's gonna have blade. I think he's all the way right. He's playing the corner of the point. On the right? Winston on the point. He's dead. He does one out of mech. 
Then main. Good hold. I gave one tick though. Gonna be hugged. Good hold. Kanji Gazan, thank for Prime. I'm all seven, I love you. Leave the game. Let's go top left, top left. Okay, wait here, bit scammed. Don't leave, then go to me. Don't leave. But you need to say, don't leave, don't leave. The entire chat needs to say, don't leave. They know, dude. Top right, Mora. There's nobody top left. Uh, Arista on the other side, right side. He's low. Nice. Hey, sir. GG. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. I won't leave. Free game. I will not leave. I will not leave. No hands. Let's see. I will be 2.7. No, that's cold. I don't even know that. That's that's plat. That's plat. That's low. <laughs> 2.7. 2.7. I'm gonna be honest. I almost unsubscribed. Money is tight. 2667. <laughs> But I still uh, subscribe because the world needs it. more people who promote Good. positivity and self-improvement. I am Platt. One of us. One of us. <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. <laughs>
uh, bullets from the matrix. Meow, cheer 500, meow. <laughs> meow. Um, and yeah, we got the kill onto the Zen. Maxi can't rest because she's under. And right now I remember that I see the Winston over there in the corner. So I just walk and try to kill him. He's standing still, probably talking to his team. Two, two shots. He knows that if he jumps, he's just going to die. So he just accepts this. Meow, meow to you. Meow. So, so my ultimate just bought a lot of time, a lot of kills, and yeah, that was it. Anyway, fast forward. Now I'm calling to swap, and I will tell you why. Sombra, has, like Sombra, will just be behind and throw the and just the MP and get out, or throw the translocate and get out, or go behind us and get out. There are a lot of things that can go wrong. They have almost every ult because they did not use any ults recently. They didn't use any ults anyway. So right now I'm calling for a swap onto this side in ranked. So they're going here and the reason for it is I know they have EMP. I know they have primal. What I want to do is play from... I'll show you. I'm faking that I'm with them because I'm staying close. And now I'm moving to the back. I'm moving to the back because if Sombra wants to EMP, she either EMPs me or EMPs my team. So I'm playing from here, in case she MPs my team, I just jump up and throw my mortality field around this wall and my team should be able to live. Also, if the Winston decides to dive, I want to get his ultimate off me, so when he dives me, I'm going to kite inside and I expect my Mora to come and peel for me. None of this happened though, but Sombra and Winston do collapse on me, Sombra calls me out, like that was good, that she called me out. You see the Winston over here? Winston jumps in, just tries to dive me. Two people on me, but instantly Mora comes back and tries to protect me. I have enough time to do this risk because I have my mortality filled up. Mora comes back, protects me, I start hiding back, Winston uses primal. So we get one lot of them. Now we start using golds. Let me get a top, a bird's eye view. Uses blade and trance and valk, okay? So they used absolutely every ultimate, but we have here a bastion just shooting them. They still didn't use EMP. We used Moira ult. This Graviton was absolutely huge. If this Graviton did not land, which was very good, very well done by the Zarya, I think we would have died. Because Genji was full HP with the damage boost on him soon and with the blade. So the Graviton was huge. We killed the Genji. We killed the Sombra that overextended. I think we got her translocator early if she did not get out. And now we're 6 versus 4. Even if they go for the rest, we should still win. We're 6 versus 5. We're. 6 versus, uh, versus 4, now 6 versus 3. So we win this team fight by default. But, but I keep in mind that they use every ult apart from EMP. I would give you $500, but I only have one crown. So apart from EMP, okay? The fuck, the Bastion sound. Now, I don't think we have time to set up, or they set up. And I play on the opposite side, because I remember that Sombra scouted me out here, so Sombra knows what she's doing. So I'm playing over here, because the only way Sombra can get to this high ground without me noticing it, because yeah, of course she can throw the translocator here and then still in, but then she doesn't have translocator, is to go all the way around. And she's already getting frustrated because she did not TNP in 3 minutes, and it's going getting closer to the last fight. So I'm just jumping and trying to play from the opposite side. They don't have a sniper in the enemy team. I can only get right click by a distance by Zen, which is not here. So this allows me to poke for free sometime. Because Genji Shurikens can only do so much damage to me from that distance. It's really hard to hit them. Now they're all playing from there. And as you see, Sombra goes from behind because she does not have enough time to go over here. If she throws DMP here, maybe we can kill her before she does it. So her only option is just to stealth here. By me positioning over here in the distance, I can just throw my mortality field when she goes in. So... She's probably waiting. My team drops. I don't know why they dropped, but it was good anyway. So they want to do EMP and bomb. I use my ult early because I want this to be one fight. If they engage at this second without my ultimate, then it will not be the last fight. They still have time to engage in overtime. So I wanted them to engage when there are 34 seconds remaining. If they walk in and die, then fine. If not, then they have 34 seconds to set it up. If they die, like, if the enemy team dies, then they uh, they will go like one by one on point. But if they engage right now and they lose the fight, they still have time to go ham and tracer and so on to go in overtime. So I use that ult and see if they initiate. They want to initiate. We bought like two seconds anyway. They EMP. When they EMP, throw the immortality field after. Diva Bomb comes in. Was a good setup. Bastion was here, way in cover. And Reinhardt was over there in immortality field. We're still 6 versus 5. Uh, I mean 5 versus 6 and now it's a 5 versus 4. 
Because we have a visor all the way set up, then you scan Suglier, and then we win the fight. And then when they go in one by one, they will not have enough time to go in because we bought a couple of seconds out of the clock just with an ugly, ugly wood. Like, see how far Zen is when they try to get contest? This would have been like two to three extra seconds, then could have been already here to help his team. But by doing that, they start going in one by one, so he start using it. They start using it. So to summarize, what I want to say, two things, is if the enemy somewhere has EMP, try to stay in the opposite side and try to think when she's going to come through instead of reacting to it when she EMPs with your immortality field. Second to that, when, um, when there are a couple of seconds left, you can calculate the amount of fights that are going to happen based on your gold usage, you don't need to get any value out of it. If there are, as a sake of the example, if there are 10 seconds left, use your gold, if they go in, they die. You don't need to use the ult in the last second because it lasts for 10 seconds.